Let's get in some BTST try ideas as well before we wind up for the day. Kunal? So I'll go with uh, one by one sell. The first one is about uh, REC Limited. That stock is uh, seeing a good bounce after uh, almost a 20% correction from 520 to 420. So uh, reasonable bounce for the stock. Uh, would suggest a buy with a target of 508. Stop loss could be kept at 474. And second would be a sell on JK Cement. I think fifth or sixth consecutive day of uh, price correction to the stock. It's broken below a key short term moving average. Uh, so would suggest a sell with a target of 4050. And stop loss could be kept at 4280. Right. Nirish, what about your BTST ideas? So first is about Apollo Hospitals, which has corrected 10% from the top and making a recovery trade today. Stop loss at 6150, target price of 6250. Second is about Tech Mahindra, which is at a support level and uh, recovering from those levels. Stop loss at 1280, target price of 1320. Okay, let's uh, now begin winding up for the day. And for exactly that, I'm going to hand it over to Vinny to walk us through the closing trades. Absolutely. Today seems like Monday Blues has come in for the market because we started a bit on the positive note, managed to hit that intraday highs, new highs for Nifty 50, but that was just at the opening. And since then, we've just seen a downward momentum, managing to close on only at the day's lowest point. That's the Nifty 50. 22,300 levels is what it's managing to grab on to. Uh, Nifty Bank too, uh, the day's lowest point down almost 1.13% uh, as well. Let's pull up the mid and small cap and the broader markets because that also saw a sharp fall coming in. We did have commentary that came uh, came in from the SEBI chair, uh, chairperson as well. And because of that, we did see some bit of a pressure coming in on the Nifty mid and small cap, which was managing to hold on to some bit of a green uh, in the morning day as well as first half of the session as well. Uh, let's move on and talk about the advanced decline ratio clearly today in the favour of declines versus advances as well. And uh, which are the sectors that are falling in trade today. We have Nifty Media that is down and out. Uh, sharp fall that is seen in Nifty Media. Uh, we have PSU Banks that's seeing clear pressure as well. Let's pull up uh, SBI. We're talking about PSU Banks. That's seen a bit of a pressure coming in as well. We did have the Supreme Court hearing in terms of the P uh, plea for SBI in terms of electoral bonds and that's the reason uh, that dismissing the plea. We're seeing SBI today down and out at the day's lowest point closing there as well. Nifty Metal, all those stocks in focus as well. We've seen Tata Steel uh, clearly under pressure as well today. And we're keeping an eye out on uh, Tata Steel as well. Nifty Metal down almost 1.5% uh, as well. Uh, let's pull up the other Tata stocks. Let's pull up Tata Consumers. What's that doing? Because that was among the top Nifty 50 losers as well. So Tata Consumers also was under pressure. What is Tata Power doing as well? That's a one to watch out for as well. Uh, Nifty Realty, that too, clearly under pressure as well. The only some bit of a green that we saw coming in today was in the Nifty Pharma that managed to, uh, you know, slide bit of a green. It was managing to hold on to uh, just before that. As of now, again, it's slipped into the red as well. So not much of a green coming in on that front as well. Let's talk about some of these stocks that have actually managed to uh, hit a 52-week high this time. Let's pull up uh, something like uh, Godfrey Phillip. That's seen very, very strong gains today coming as well. So yes, in the mid, uh, mid cap side, we're seeing Godfrey Phillips, Casey, International, uh, Solara Industries, as well as Zydus Life, which managed to hit a 52 week high, uh, life high. Uh 52-week high today as well. Um, other than that, I just want to highlight ITC as well. That saw a sharper fall coming in in the second half of the trading session as well. And ITC saw a sharp fall as well. So yes, that's how the market close was looking like. Not much uh, support that we saw coming in from any of these major companies like Reliance as well. So yes, keeping an eye out uh, on the markets, closing in the red. Day's lowest point is what the Nifty is closing at.